the Maui Minotoya math problem. So let's really just distill this down to the numbers and what the cost is to the county of Maui, the taxpayers, the people that live here on the island by promoting this ruling to ban 7,100 condos on the Minotoya list as short-term rentals. So let's assume there's 7,100 condos on the Minotoya list. Now let's take 6,000 of those condos and assume that those are rented on a daily basis with two guests per unit. Now, if we take that, that's 12,000 guests on the island a day. The Maui County Visitors Bureau estimates that every guest spends roughly $500 per day times 12,000, and that comes out to $6 million a day, times 365 days in a year, $2.2 billion of lost revenue that's diverted somewhere else because those guests aren't coming here. Now, people say, oh, they can go to the hotels, and sure, there will be some that will go to the hotels, but many of them will not come and shop at the restaurants, they'll stay on the hotels and all the money is gonna go back to the corporations on the mainland. But still, there is not that much room in the hotels to accommodate 6,000 guests. So I think it's unreasonable to say that those people will just go to the hotels. That's a small amount of those. And that's why I took off the thousand units off the top. Okay, now let's talk about general excise tax. Let's take that 2.2 billion of revenue that we lose times 4.72% which is roughly our service tax on the island, that turns out to be about $100 million lost because we've lost the revenue coming to the island. From there, let's talk about transient accommodation tax. Let's go back to those 6,000 units, take those times an average daily rental of $250 a day. That's about 1.5 million. The transient accommodation tax on that $1.5 million would be 13.25% for a yearly total of $72,543,750. That's a lot of money. Now, let's talk about a different part, the property tax. So when all of these condos are changed from vacation rental, which is taxed at one of the highest rates on the island, to apartment zoned, guess what happens? The tax rate goes from 12.5% to 3.5%. Now, let's just make this simple assumption 7,100 condos at a million dollar average price, which I believe is probably way low, but I want to err to the side of caution. So that's a lot of money. Take that tax base times 12.5 and it's $88,750,000. That's what the tax base is currently. Take it and figure it out at 3.5% and it's $24,850,000. Subtract that from the other tax base and our delta that we lose, $63,900,000 when we change the tax rate, we lose about $63 million. Wow, isn't math fun? It's crazy when we take those four math equations and we add it all together and we see what kind of impact this Minotoya ruling will have on our island, $2.44 billion total. That's what my quick, simple math says. That $2.44 billion will be a tragic loss on our islands if this is allowed to go through. Please think about this. If you've got questions, if you think my math is wrong, please comment below. If it's wrong, I'm gonna guess it's only too low, not too high. But please call your council members, call the mayor, call your friends that have businesses, power them to reach out and make a statement. Let everybody know that this is not a good plan. There's better ways to create affordable housing. We really, really need affordable housing, but not at the expense of our economy.